Hello, it's Kieran here, and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for the App Inventor that makes Android apps. If you already didn't know that, now after you have signed up and done all that stuff and logged in, you should see well made a new project after that. You should see like this screen here. It's um just said screen one. Blah, blah, and then you've got your background colour. You can have that anything you want. Green one. None. Which means you can have a picture as your background. Just see if I can find a picture. So let's go to my pictures. Let's have a picture of a uh, Chav. <laughs> That's my dad. <laughs> a picture of a Chav, yeah, that could be your background. So, Chav. There you go. Nice Chavy background. And up there, you know, see it says Screen 1. You can change that to whatever you want. We'll call this Chav App Version 1.0. There you go, Chav App version 1.0. So the next thing you're gonna have to do is open the what the heck? Open the blocks editor. So you see that you just click open blocks editor, you get this program, easy peasy, click on that, it'll load. I'm just gonna pause this and sort out that thing in the back. Okay, I sorted that, so now your blocks editor, when you open it, should look like this, just blank. So the first thing you're going to have to do is press new emulator. I've already got one started up somewhere. There it is. So it's basically just a Android kind of like phone running in your computer. And it works, but very slowly. Or for me, I don't have a high power computer. I don't bother with that for now, but you want to connect to it so you can see your app, what it looks like. So we'll wait for that. Come on. Faster. Faster. Go faster. Run over all this time. Okay, while that's connecting, we'll get started with putting something on the Chav app. So, let's put a button on it. Yeah, that'll do. We'll put text for the button. We'll put sound because we'll make it play a sound. Image, you can have a button image if you want. But I'm not going to have one for this tutorial. Okay, let's just check if that's connected now. Still connecting. <laughs> Takes a while. So. Yeah, that will do that. You can change the font. So you can have it 16 and bold. And fill. These are the size of the button. Fill parent. Basically means fill out the whole thing. Height. When you put fill parent, it usually just stays the same. But you can change that. You can have a really fat button if you want. So. Is that 500 pixels? That should give you a fairly... No, that's a bit too big. <laughs> Just leave it to fill parent. You get the point. Fill parent. Okay. So, this is your app. With your button there that's going to do something when you press it. So if you wanted it to make a noise, you'd have to go to media. Sound. Minimum interval. That, like, how many second, milliseconds there is before sounds played again if someone presses a button. So let's have a sound and find a sound. I haven't got that many sounds. We'll have a sound from one of my apps. 
which is somewhere I don't know I'll just have that let it upload and I think that's connected now oh. why can't you find button 1 ok then go away so it's connected to the device so if you look at that slide this over which you probably won't do there we go, slide it over, there's your trav app, there's your button that does something when you press it but at the moment it doesn't do anything you just got your button there that press it, nothing happens so to make it do something this is what the blocks editor is for so you go into my blocks there's button 1 which is the button, there's loads of options for that these all do different things but I won't explain them this time, this is just a simple tutorial. So yeah. Button one click. So when basically like simple logic kind of stuff. So when you click button one you want sound one to play. Like that. So now if you go into your blocks editor should play a sound if it's still uploading, I don't know. Oh too large. We'll get a different sound. Do, do, do. Choose sound. And then my desktop apps because I've already got a few. -la 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 -la. We'll have that sound. So now when you press the button you get the laugh so that's that bit now I'm just going to show you how to put in another screen you can't actually put in screens like that but you can put in screen drain arrangements that pop up when you press the button so we're just gonna have this depends on what you want I'm just gonna have a horizontal put it in right at the top fill parent keep it put it invisible but then put display invisible components like that so let's put in this one we're gonna put some text so that's an image not text what am I doing we'll put in text, the text thing is label that's image again, label drag that in, so let's put this is a chav app for chaps yeah, this is a chav app for chaps, we'll make, I'll give it a background colour so we can see it better let's have a red background fill parent this is a travel app for chaps yeah so that's a different screen in the emulator you can't see that because it's set as invisible so we want to make that invisible when a button is pressed so first we need to add a button to the screen and this button will just be, I haven't really do much to this, but it will be hide and we'll call this about because it's about the app and then on the other screen we've got a button and we will call it, what should we call it? oh yeah about this app and that will be sat there like that, simple. So we go into blocks editor. So we've got horizontal arrangement one, button two, 
I can't remember which one's which. I should really, you should really name your buttons. It makes things a lot easier. So that button three is about this up. So button three, when clicked, to make horizontal arrangement to set the horizontal arrangement visibility to true, which basically means you can see it. And then when button two is clicked, which is the hide. You want horizontal arrangement visibility to be set to false, which means you won't see it. So now, look, oh, magic! How amazing is that? Oh, not I clever, <laughs> and it still does that. So that's just a basic tutorial about how to make a really simple app. I might be doing more of these tutorials. I don't really know, so might see you next time. Bye.